guide in this video. This is the T's Workbook Hints video two, and we're gonna think about perimeter and area. And there's some questions in the T's Workbook that involve you finding the area and the perimeter of a half circle. And then we have this uh, weird looking quadrilateral, and it's actually a trapezoid, though you don't have to know anything about a trapezoid to find the area or the perimeter. Let's talk about this half circle first. If you want to find the perimeter of this half circle, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to find the perimeter of this red jump right here. Now, the formula for the circumference of a circle is two times pi times the radius. Now, I'm not actually doing an example here, I'm just trying to get you to think about how you would do this. Now, this formula here is the formula for the entire circumference of a circle. But since we have just half a circle here, we wanna take the formula for the circumference, divide it by two because we wanna take half of it. So essentially that red stuff is going to be just pi times the radius. However, we are trying to find the perimeter of this half circle. And if we were to start right here, we go halfway around the circle, but then we have to go straight back across to actually find the perimeter of this whole shape. And this line that goes straight across, that is the diameter of that half circle. So to find the perimeter of a half circle, if you wanna make a formula for it, it would be pi times r, that is the red stuff. And then we have to add on this diameter here, so we could say plus d. Now I don't want you to memorize this formula, I just want you to make sense of what we are doing here. So again, to recap on that one more time, we go halfway around the circle. That's going to be that pi r because we took two pi r divided by two. And then to get back to where we started, we have to go across this diameter. So that's why down here in this little formula, I'm adding d. And yes, this is the formula for the perimeter of what we call a semicircle. You go all the way around the shape. Now let's talk about the area of this thing. The area is going to simply be half the area of the whole circle. So when we talk about the area of a circle, the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, but this is the formula for the area of a whole circle. So what we would do here, very similar to the circumference, we would simply come here and divide it by two, and that will actually give us the area of this yellow region. So using this formula here, and then using this formula here, you can actually work out uh, some of those questions that are in the geometry section of the T's Math Workbook. Now let's look at the trapezoid. To find the perimeter, you're gonna be tasked with actually finding the length of some of these sides, and some of them will be given, but uh, let's suppose that this side right here was not given to us, and you may know something about the height of this trapezoid. Well, what you're gonna be tasked with doing there is probably using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, you could be given this little piece and you could be given this little piece here. If you're given this piece and this piece, you could do A squared plus B squared equals C squared to find that piece or any combination of that Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You'll see some examples of Pythagorean theorem and sometimes you may have to uh, actually solve for A or B versus solving for C. But that will help you find either this piece or maybe even this little section here, or heck, it may help you find the height of the trapezoid. Just keep the Pythagorean theorem in mind. The same thing would apply over here to this little triangle. Uh, they may be different sizes. This triangle here looks bigger than this one over here. So just uh, yeah, like I said, keep the Pythagorean theorem in mind when you're dealing with the trapezoid. Now to find the area of any trapezoid, there actually is a formula. Now you don't have to memorize this because we can do this other ways, but the area of a trapezoid is one half the height times base one plus base two. Now, I don't think I have done a video on the area of a trapezoid, but you could quickly Google that and you would definitely see an example of that. However, I have done videos on finding the areas of complex shapes. For example, if we found the area of this triangle and then we found the area of this triangle over here, and then if we found the area of this leftover rectangle, this leftover rectangle here, if we found the area of these three shapes and we added them all together, guess what? 
you would have the area of that trapezoid. I would recommend doing it like that if you're if you feel stressed out about having to memorize another formula. Uh, knowing the area of a triangle, that's one half base times height, and knowing the area of a rectangle, which is length times width, or you could say base times height. Knowing those two formulas, you can pretty much find the uh, area of any complex shape. And then when you tie in the area of a circle, uh, should you have a crazy looking shape with some curves and half circles on the T's test, knowing your three basic area formulas, a triangle, a rectangle, and a circle, you should be good to go. And there you have it, T's workbook, hence video number two, thinking about area and perimeter. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.